Hey guys, recently there has been a lot of chatter, a lot of conversation, a lot of discussion about your worthiness as a teacher, how much you should be charging um, people that are trying to lowball you and not pay what you're worth, your value. A lot of this is directed towards like the non-native English speakers, but I do encourage you to watch this whole video because it does apply to everybody, regardless of your nationality, where you live, your experience teaching, anything like that. There's a message in here that I really want you all to hear. So make sure you watch until the end of the video because I, we're going to work on changing our mindset today and we're going to work on knowing and understanding our value as an online teacher. Welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Jillian from JillianChanahan.com. I'm an online English teacher. I've been teaching English online since 2018. And I've been coaching and helping other people grow their income as an online teacher since 2019. If that's something that you're interested in doing, if you've never taught online before and you're interested in it, or maybe you are teaching and you're interested in learning tips and tricks and all the ins and outs, companies, whatever, make sure you click subscribe because that is what we are doing on this channel. Make sure you click subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss future videos. I have a ton of really cool content scheduled and planned for the new year because I know that we all have new year's resolutions for our businesses and we're all going to crush them. And I'm going to make sure that I'm bringing you and delivering you content that is going to help you do that. Okay. So first I want to discuss the whole non-native English teacher Thing going on here. Now, I know that the majority of my audience is from the United States. So you might be thinking that this doesn't apply to you, but I assure you there's still a message in here that you need to hear. It does apply to you, but I am going to discuss the non-native English teachers for a second here. So these companies, these Chinese companies that a lot of us started teaching with, they, they often did not hire teachers from South Africa or from the Philippines or from places where they were considered non-native English speakers. But first of all, we know that English is actually a primary language in a lot of these places. And a lot of these teachers grew up speaking English and it is their primary language and they are fluent in it and they are qualified to teach it. And I know that it's probably really frustrating for you when you go to get a job and they're offering you like two bucks an hour, three bucks an hour, maybe five bucks an hour to do the same thing as somebody who just happened to be born in another country. And that's not fair. Even if you didn't grow up speaking English, even if you learned it as a second language, that doesn't mean that you're not qualified to teach it. There are plenty of people that learn something as an adult and they go ahead and teach it. The mentality that these Chinese companies basically threw us into they kind of gave us a discriminatory racist mentality a lot of teachers began to believe it a lot of native english speaking teachers um, started seeing themselves as uh, more worthy and more valuable than teachers that were from certain countries or teachers that were not born um to, you know, that we're not born speaking English and learned it as a second language or that just didn't happen to have a passport from that country. It's not fair to assume that just because somebody grew up in a certain country or in a certain way that they're qualified or they're more qualified to teach than somebody else. I'm sure you guys all know people personally in your lives that grew up speaking English that do not speak it correctly and uh, would or you know would not be good teachers like they just don't work good as a teacher they're not good at teaching they're not you know they're they're not proficient in English they're not good with kids they're not you know good they're not good teachers so it doesn't mean that just because somebody is from say America that they're better they're a better teacher they're more qualified they're better than a teacher from South Africa and I really think it's time that we change that mindset I did tell you that this is for everybody, so just like bear with me because there is a message for everybody here. Working with kids, it kind of makes me think about how it is working with children. So if you tell a child that they are not capable, if you tell a child that they're not worthy, if you tell a child that, you know, that they can't do it, you know, like, hey, you suck, you kind of give them that, you know, you're not worth anything then they're going to grow up thinking that that's how it is. They're going to go to school and they're going to get worse grades rather than if you empowered them, they're going to be better off, right? We all know that. We all know that we don't say mean things to children. 
Well, I know you guys aren't children, but it's kind of the same thing. So when these companies said, well, you, we can't hire you because you are from South Africa, or we can't um, pay you more than $5 because that's what you're worth. They're really giving you that same like disempowerment. They're taking the power away from you and they're making you feel worse about yourself. And they're making you feel like that's how it is. And this is where it comes in for everybody, regardless if you're South African, if you're American, if you're Canadian, if you live in Australia or Mexico or the moon, I don't care, wherever you live, this is going to apply for everybody. I don't want you to charge below your value. Do not charge below what you are worth. This is mainly for independent teachers, but you're going to have people that try to lowball you and they try to have you decrease your rate because somebody else is offering this rate or maybe they'll even tell you like, well, you're not a native English speaker. You can't charge this rate. If you're not a native English speaker, you should not be focusing on that. When you advertise yourself, you don't focus on the negative aspects like, Hey, uh, I'm a teacher that missed five classes when I got sick one time. Like you're not going to advertise that because people don't like that. Like, yes, there's a reason for it. And it doesn't mean you're a bad teacher, but you don't advertise that same thing. If you're from South Africa, don't advertise that you're, that you're from South Africa, advertise your qualifications, talk about and focus your marketing on what makes you a good teacher. No matter where you're from or what you do, you know that there are qualities that you have that make you a good teacher. You know that there are students that you have helped. You know the success stories that you have. I want you to focus on all of those instead of the negative things that people have told you before. That's not true. Once you start changing your mindset about yourself, it's going to change your entire outlook on your business. It's going to change everything that you possibly can change. <laughs> It's going to change everything. There are going to be times when it comes up in discussion, like where are you from? And you say South Africa, that's okay. Don't lie, obviously, but where you're from doesn't create the definition of a good teacher or a bad teacher. It doesn't make or break you. And you're not going to let it because we're going to change our mindset today. You are no longer a South African teacher. Stop defining yourself as that. You are no longer a South African teacher. You are a teacher that has done this, that ha these are your success stories, that has worked this long, that has taught this many classes, that focuses on taking this student and helping them reach this goal. And again, this does not apply to just South African teachers. You are not just a teacher. You are a teacher that does this, has this, is qualified for this reason. You're going to stop thinking of yourself as a new teacher, a South African teacher, an English teacher. And you're going to start thinking of yourself as a professional in your field. You are the best of the best. You are the best at what you do. You are going to continue to grow so that you can be the best at what you do. And you can continue to grow and just like be the most awesome version of whatever you are trying to do, whatever you're trying to be. And you're going to market that. You are amazing. And you're going to let that light shine outwards. But in order to do that, you're going to have to bring that light inwards first. And you're going to really have to start believing in yourself. So, so I don't ever do this today. I'm giving you some homework. If you're in my group, which is right here, it's the online ESL teacher success and support group. I encourage you to join it. If you're not already there, if you are already there, you already heard this message, but I want you to take a minute here. You now have homework. Your homework is to sit down and I want you to sit down for a good 15, 20 minutes today. And I want you to brainstorm every student that has made progress, how they have, you know, how you've helped them. What, what are the success stories that you've had? Talk about the reviews that you've gotten, what parents have said to you, what students have said to you that makes you feel good. That's a good positive thing about your teaching style. Talk about your teaching style, what you have to offer these students. After you have this list, you are going to have the exact guideline of how you should be looking at yourself and how you should be showcasing yourself to your students. So this is your homework. Go ahead. I'm giving you homework on a YouTube video, but this is your homework. I want you to go ahead and write down everything positive about yourself as a teacher, because there is absolutely no reason why you should be charging $5 an hour. That's another thing. I do not want to see teachers lowballing themselves. Don't charge less than you're worth. If you can't live comfortably on what you're charging, 
you know, minus the taxes and fees that you have to pay for your business. If you can't live comfortably on what you're charging, then you're not doing something right. You're probably not charging enough. And I want you to take a second to reevaluate your prices. And I want you to really, really make sure that you're making yourself a livable income here. You should not be making $5 an hour. These companies that were, that are charging for English lessons and they're paying people, teachers to work for them, they're not making $5 an hour and they're pushing out cookie cutter lessons. You should not be making $5 an hour either because you are now, if you're independent, you are the customer service, you are the curriculum creator, or developer, or collector. You're the person that's planning and scheduling and collecting and billing. You're doing everything now. There is no way that you should be making less than a company would. You should be making more. Not only are you delivering content that's met for their needs and you're working with them to meet their needs it's you know it's not cookie cutter lessons you are also wearing the hats of everybody that was in the office making that do your homework write down everything that makes you worthy that makes you valuable and i want you to look at that anytime that you start feeling worthless i want you to take a look at that and remember anytime you go to make a post to wechat or your instagram or your Facebook group, or wherever you are marketing yourself as an online teacher. I want you to take a look at that before and remember that those are your guidelines for who you are as a teacher. You are not a South African teacher. You are not a new teacher. You are a teacher that is good at what you do. And you're good at what you do because of the reasons on that list that you made. You really need to change your mindset because if you don't change your mindset and you continue to think of yourself as less valuable, then you are going to be paid as a less valuable teacher. If you treat yourself poorly, others are going to treat yourself, others are going to treat you poorly as well. And I know that it's going to be hard because there are going to be a lot of people that come and they say to you, well, other teachers are only charging $5 an hour. And while that may be true, it doesn't mean that that's what you have to charge if that's not what you want to charge. Just because another teacher is comfortable charging $5 an hour and is either able to live off of $5 an hour or is willing to struggle because they're charging such low rates, that doesn't mean that you should be. You should be treating yourself with respect. There's my TED talk for the day. I haven't done one of those in a while, but I really do think that it's, it's super important. It's probably one of the most important things. And I want you to think about it like this. Okay, so I really want a Louis Vuitton purse, which actually is not true. I'm not materialistic at all, but say I really wanted a Louis Vuitton purse. And I was like, mm, I am not paying that much money for a Louis Vuitton purse. I could not go into a Louis Vuitton store and be like, I want that and I want it for $20. They're going to be like, but ma'am, that's not a $20 purse. Yeah, but other purses are $20. So I want that for $20. Well, teacher, you are not a $20 purse. And I want you to start thanking yourself. So you are the Louis Vuitton teacher. You are the, the teacher that's worth it. You're good at what you do. You're worth what you charge. So now you're going to start treating yourself like that Louis Vuitton teacher. Okay. Your students are not getting a dollar store education. So I don't expect you to charge dollar store rates. Look at it like that. Change your mindset. It's going to change everything about you. So make sure you do your homework. Make sure you do your homework. <laughs> I don't even give my students homework, but I'm giving you guys homework, okay? All right, guys, I will see you all soon. Like I said, I've got a ton of really cool things that are coming. They're in store for the new year. I have a lineup and I'm building a lineup of different things that I'm gonna be showing on this channel that are going to help you as an online teacher. So make sure you're subscribed. If you are an online teacher or you have a service for online teachers or you have something that online teachers would be interested in knowing about, you have an expertise, make sure you send me an email or send me a message over on Instagram. This is my Instagram. And let me know what you have to, and we'll see if it's a good fit for something that we can talk about on this channel. I'll see if I can fit you in. Um, until next time. And if you're watching this in real time, when I post it, Christmas is this weekend. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday and uh, Happy New Year when I see you next year. Bye.